Hello Shelburne residents, I'm Kevin Unrath, Director of the Pearson Library, and I'm here to provide an update on our services. In order to comply with Governor Scott's Stay Home, Stay Safe Directive, Pearson Library is closing curbside pickup as of 5 p.m. today. While it is difficult for us not to offer physical books to patrons, we agree that staff and patrons need to stay home and stay safe as much as possible so that the burden and exposure for essential personnel remains as low as possible. We ask that you hold on to any materials you currently have until the building reopens, if at all possible. Our Wi-Fi will stay on 24-7, so if you are out on an essential trip and need Wi-Fi access, you may park in one of the spots close to the library to connect from the car. Staff have been busy preparing for this eventuality that the building might need to be closed and have assembled a suite of online services to help keep Shelburne reading and keep us connected. What will this look like? Clearly, one of the best things we can do right now is to sink into an educational, enjoyable book. Here are some of the things we'll be, we'll be doing to help you access materials. First of all, we have a suite of online resources that are already available to you if you have an account. Just go to pearsonlibrary.org backslash elibrary and you'll find all of these services that I'm going to talk about. If you don't already have an account or you don't know how to use your account, you can email us at circulation at shelburnevt.org. Please be patient. We may be getting more requests than usual. Through a generous donation from the Friends of Pearson Library, our Overdrive book collection will be expanded with additional titles starting next week. These titles will only be available if you log in first, so please log into your account in Overdrive and then search for what you might be looking for. Also, through a generous donation from Tumble Books, their entire suite of databases for children from pre-K through grade 12 is available, including math books and books especially selected for teens and tweens. A lot of these also have lesson plans associated with them, so they're great if you're looking for uh, work ideas for your kids who are in school. Again, you can go to pearsonlibrary.org uh, backslash elibrary to find those. Um, we also have a couple wonderful learning databases. There's Universal Class and brand new this week to Shelburne Learning Express Library. These two databases offer learning opportunities for high school students, professionals, um, and everyday folks looking to learn a new skill. They have test prep opportunities. They have um, continuing career education. Uh, it's enough to keep you busy and learning for a long time. We also want to make sure that Shelburne residents stay connected as much as possible. And so starting sometime next week, date to be determined, the library will begin offering once a day reading events online on alternating days for kids and for adults. So Monday, Wednesday, Friday, we'll offer an online discussion of either an article, a short story, or a literary essay uh, along with one of our staff members. So you'll be able to call in or log on and become a part of that discussion with other residents and get to connect and get to think a little and talk and, and uh, share um, with the community. And then Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays, we'll be offering a virtual story time from one of the familiar faces here at the Pearson. So Miss Katie, Miss Inger, uh, Miss Mary Catherine, Mr. Rob. Some of these story times will be interactive where kids can sing along and participate and others will be pre-recorded. Uh, and the details of those uh, will be announced shortly as well. Uh, the library is going to maintain communications through Facebook, through our website. Uh, we're going to send things into the Shelburne News and through our email uh, newsletter. If you want to sign up for that newsletter, you can go to our homepage, and uh, there's a sign up right there, and you'll um, you'll get a mailing probably about a couple times a week, letting you know what's going on. Uh, we are regularly updating our phone message to give out information, but we're not able to check our phone message as frequently as our email. So if you do call 985-5124, we'll get back to you, but it may take a little longer than usual. Um, I just want you to know that we are not taking this action lightly. We are monitoring all of the recommendations and the news out there. Uh, I'm talking with other librarians around the state to get ideas, uh, and we hope that we're going to be back available to the public uh, as soon as possible, but we want everybody to stay safe and to stay reading. Thank you very much.